Hi everybody and welcome to today's lesson. We look at the Escuela Oficial de Idiomas exams in relation to English and level B2. So it's a very specific lesson today and this exam is very popular in Spain. A lot of people need to pass this exam to qualify for the exam in the state to become a civil servant in Spain. So for this reason, it's a very, very popular exam. The good news is this exam is very similar to lots of other English exams, such as Cambridge and IELTS. For instance, in this exam, we have reading, listening, speaking and writing. So of course, most English exams have this aspect. But on my page in my school, I want to focus some time in preparing this exam for people. So I hope you can join me. I hope you can share this project with other people preparing for the exam. And my idea is to give tips, advice, and to do some exercises together related to this exam. And today is exactly the case. Today, I have downloaded some material from the Comunidad de Madrid because every community in Spain, I think, is different in relation to the content of this exam. And today, specifically, we are looking at the content available on the website from the Comunidad de Madrid and Level B2 English. Very interesting. And for people learning English in general, you are very welcome also because you will learn a lot of material and English vocabulary and grammar from this lesson as well. So I hope that you will benefit and everybody can learn from this class. So let's begin. If you have a question, please put your question in the Facebook chat and I can answer your comment and your question at the end and also during the lesson. So please leave your comment in the Facebook chat here and hopefully I can answer any questions that you have. So let me put the comment here. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the lesson. So please put your comment in the chat and I can answer your question as we go. So this is level B2, Certificado de Nivel de Intermedio B2, y también puedo hablar en español un poquito, si es mejor para ti, y puedo hablar en español um, cuando necesitas but in general, I speak in English for this lesson. So this is comprehension of the text. And basically, this is the reading part of the exam. As I said, the exam is similar to other parts of English exams, writing, speaking, listening and reading. So this is the paper. You have your name, your first name, your family name and identification. The instructions. What are the instructions for this particular reading page? So 60 minutes, you have 60 minutes and I think you have 25 different questions, three different reading tasks. Today, we might just focus on the first task, Tarea Uno, and in the paper in total, you have three different parts with total 25, okay? And the instructions are at the beginning of each uh, exercise. Or at the beginning of each exercise, we can see the instructions. Okay, and they just say write in pencil, I think. And pen, red pen is not allowed. And don't write in the column beside. So no escriba en los recuerdos sombrados. is like don't write in the rough draft or in the side part and dictionaries are not allowed to bring into this exam, so no dictionary. So let's begin. Here is the first exercise, task one. You have eight marks and eight questions, so one mark per question. Here is the instruction. Read the following texts and match each of them to the most suitable heading from the list supplied. Each heading can only be used once. There are three headings that you will not need. And text zero is an example. So here we have different paragraphs, different headings, and different 
sections, different texts, and the job is to match the text to the sentence here. There are three sentences that are not required. So this is tricky. And my best advice for you first is to read this text yourself before I explain this video. Of course, I am live at the moment, but you can pause this video and I recommend you try to do this exercise yourself before I give you the explanation and before I try to analyze this for you because that is more realistic if you try to do this yourself in, in your own time. It's more realistic like an exam. However, I can try to help you with my explanations and my tips. Okay, and that's it. That's the first part. And of course, you need to put the correct answer in the correct position. And that's it. Then we move to task two, which is different. But first, let's stay on task one. So let's read the options first to keep in mind. Are you afraid of hearing no? That's the first title. Are you afraid of hearing no? So let me put that copy and paste here in the options because we can keep this beside us at the same time. So option A is, are you afraid of hearing no? Option B, are you ready for the startup lifestyle? So specifically, are you ready for the startup lifestyle? What is um, the startup lifestyle? Well, startup is typical for business. When you start a business, in English we say start up, which basically means to create and to establish. So the business at the beginning is typically known as a startup business, typical in technology as well. Option C, can you build a motivated and qualified team? Do you have the ability to build, construct a motivated and qualified team? That is option C. Okay, and sorry for all the different texts, etc. But it's important to have the notes beside us. Option D. Do you have a way to fund your project? Do you have the ability? Do you have the manner to fund your project? And the verb to fund means to generate and to pay for, to generate the money and pay the money for the project. So do you have a method, a means, a way to pay for your project? That is option D. Option E. Do you really want to be your own boss? So being your own boss, self-employed, is the topic of the text. And the question is, do you really want, are you sure you want to be your own boss and self-employed? In Spain, it's autonomo. So do you really want to be your own boss because it's a very difficult job to do? Okay, so sorry for the A, B, C, D, E and hmm okay so it's a bit of a mess here but i think you understand more or less and we will appreciate this as we go next have you considered the correct the good the best location have you thought about the correct location spot place we need to think of possible vocabulary possible synonyms for this question okay next and I'll just continue i'll close this and try and make it a bit clearer for everybody so i'll just make this a little bit shorter and a bit better so let's continue to the next option as i said the last option is have you considered the correct location next have you studied the extra possible expenses so have you analyzed have you researched the extra expenses that are involved in in this okay that's one question. The next question, how long can you manage to survive without a profit? So financially, can you survive without making a profit? That would be very difficult because at the start of a project, I understand like this English teaching, sometimes you can go for a period of time without making a profit. So that is obviously an important question. So let me put all of them here. 
and I think this is the solution here. I hope. Okay, so that's a bit better, I think. Next, is the market opportunity large and growing? So in terms of the opportunity in the market, is it big and is it growing? This will be the title of one of the texts. Is this a crowded space already? In terms of the market, there are a lot of people working in that area, too many people. It's crowded and that's going to be a title for one of the texts. Penultimate question, who is the target consumer of your project? So who is the person that you are targeting to consume your project? So this will be the title of one of the texts. And the final option, will you be open to feedback? Will you be able, happy, content to listen to criticism and praise as well? Okay, so they are all the options and now we can read the text one by one. As we have seen, option zero is B. So what is the title? The title is questions to ask yourself before starting your own business. So all of them are probably questions related to your starting your business. Reality check. Are you ready to become self employed are you prepared are you ready tech zero if you are currently an employee starting your own business well actually this is bad english this is a mistake in the grammar and i have seen this before but this is a mistake grammatically i think so if you are currently an employee starting your own business as an entrepreneur is a total transformation okay don't make the mistake of assuming it is a way to get rich quick so it's not an easy way to make money starting a business is hard work requires a lot of determination involves long hours and may seriously affect your day-to-day -day habits I totally agree so this is text zero as I said I think there's an error a big error grammatically so starting your own company, starting your own business as an entrepreneur. So that's a little mistake in the grammar, which is amazing. So let's continue to the second. Well, let's check the options. What options do we have? We have option one, option two. Um, let, me, let me do this properly here. So I'm going to copy and paste the first four options again and hopefully this will make everything a little bit easier to read at the same time okay so that are they are all the questions a b c d and this is really e whoops okay e and then that's finally f a b c d e f g ah okay i think you have the idea more or less i hope but it's not so important i think you have uh and then h is there and then a b c d f g h i my alphabet skills are being tested um and j and k and then we're finished and then we're ready to analyze and try to find the option i think okay h i j k l of course we have some errors i think but we'll have the list in front of us so already we have read the first text text zero is about starting your own business be careful is this corresponding to the first option are you afraid of hearing no no are you ready for the startup lifestyle maybe so text zero could definitely be option b that's a definite candidate okay and that's important and that could be the option. What about the next one? Can you build a motivated team? No, there's nothing connected to this question related to tech zero. Do you have a way to fund your project? There is nothing connected to this sentence and the first paragraph. Do you really want to be your own boss? This is definitely a strong connection. So the answer could be for this one for sure. So we have two possible options at the moment. Have you considered the right location? There is nothing in text zero connected to location have you studied the possible extra expenses no that's not directly connected to zero 
how long can you manage to survive without a profit is the market growing no so i think there's two strong possibilities here option b and option um so that in fact we've changed everything again so that's a difference here so as i said um i think option e and option a are possible here let's continue to the next text again don't trust your own judgment and passion in relation to this topic on this one so don't judge your own judgment don't trust your own judgment and passion look for market analysis data from a credible neutral third party so research study the market that means a nationally known market research firm a firm is another word for a business or a company so that's very important a law firm is a law business a law company you must find out you must discover if whether the demand for your services is high in economics in business you must understand the vocabulary supply and demand demand is the number of people that want your business that want your product that want your service that is the demand demand is high demand is low supply is the number of products that you have available to the market this is the supply so of course supply and demand are very important english words is your service high enough and likely probable to be sustained for a long time you are not interested in investing in a passion passing fashion or something which may soon be outdated so the longevity is this project going to survive a long time that's more or less the idea for text zero and let's look at the option a hearing no no connection b maybe but not specifically c building a team no the funds to your project not specifically do you really want to be your own boss maybe but not specifically the location the possible expenses h surviving which is related to the duration is the market opportunity large and growing maybe is it a crowded space so this is tricky this is definitely tricky because in text one we have a lot of detail a lot of research so i think really text one is related to studying the market and knowing the market the research so therefore option i is the market opportunity large and growing that's connected and i think that could be the correct answer here option i so let's select for the moment option i for text one okay so let's continue a little because that's a bit tricky text two do not simply ask your circle of friends if they've heard of something similar to your brand new idea so don't ask don't simply ask use google or any of the other search engines to search for the existing competition if you find 20 other businesses offering the same product or service it might just not be worth going any further so if you have too many competitors doing exactly the same thing maybe it's a good it's not a good idea to continue especially if you can't think of a way to stand out this is a phrasal verb in spanish is destacar so this text is very clear text two is suggesting if already there is a lot of competition maybe it's a good idea to stay away from the idea so that's very clear and i think this reminds me of let's look at the options and you can check here your text and give think for yourself for a moment and think what might be the best option here for me i have a clear option and for me it's very clearly j because of crowded okay 
because the market is crowded you have a lot of competitors therefore the correct sentence should be is this a crowded space a crowded market already already there's a lot of competitors already there are a lot of businesses in that area maybe like teaching english online so be careful and for me that's very clear let's continue to the next text text three it's hard to build a business as the lone ranger the lone ranger is a cowboy who was very independent and did nothing with partners was very independent and did everything by himself he was the lone ranger so the text is suggesting it's not easy to be independent on your own you need to assemble and manage a crew what is a crew a crew is specifically originally from the ship the team of workers from the ship are the crew in the aeroplane you also have the crew this is the team of workers and the staff that is the crew and it's necessary to build your own team development sales technical etc so you must have skilled talented employees colleagues and a team you must learn to delegate it just can't be a one-man show no you cannot be the one-man show like the lone ranger again saying the same thing so a team is necessary no matter how much you need to be on top of everything determined introverts may have real problems with this so be aware so this is very interesting and the paragraph for me corresponds with the sentence what do you think is the best sentence here so let's start at the top okay mm. take your time and take a moment to try and find the correct answer for yourself I think there's only one option about the team so can you build a motivated and qualified team I would suggest is text three that's my best answer at the moment and hopefully you have the same idea let's continue text four permit let allow people interact with your product before you make your investment so give people time to test and to try your product a fresh set of eyes so a new perspective a different perspective can help identify focus on something you might have missed plus these people will become your first brand supporters especially if you listen to their input and input is like feedback it's a synonym to feedback and already in the list we have seen feedback their advice will be good and after all you need to cater for accommodate provide for people are willing to spend their money on so this is very clear text four i think it corresponds directly with the option um open the feedback maybe 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 i think probably that's the best answer for text four in my opinion you might have a different opinion i hope and that's fine because option k who is the target consumer is definitely related and all the other options are fine as well so that's a clear option here for text four text five most people are excessively polite are too polite they will believe they are not interested before you start talking i need to repeat this they will believe they are not interested before you start talking yet however they will let you speak and present your product or service and when you are finished when you are completed when you are done they will kindly decline your offer do not fear rejection success does not come overnight and you should not be frustrated by negative responses even though you will have a lot so this is a clear text and I think this clearly is connected to the first in my opinion the first option 
Are you afraid of hearing no rejection? People rejecting your product, that's a big possible um, reality in your uh, own business. And I think text five is connected clearly to option A. What do you think? Do you have the same idea? And again, if you have a comment, if you want to interact, please put your comment in the Facebook chat and let me see here if we have any messages. So that's fantastic. Um, hello, Ploy Sapphire. Thank you so much for connecting. I hope you are enjoying the lesson. And let me try the pronunciation here. The Kauj League Hauj. I'm sorry for the pronunciation, but thank you for watching the um the couch and pornapa um thank you so much for your comment and basically pornapa just you can watch my lessons number one you can send a message and hopefully you can benefit from the lessons so thank you for your message pornapa and i can respond to your message uh, very soon as well so thank you so much let's continue a little with this exercise so text five i think is directly connected to option a let's continue with text six okay there are tons of different ways a ton is a big quantity a big amount there are tons this means there are lots tons of energy tons of food Tons of people, lots, 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 a lot of different ways to get the resources you need to start your business from an angel investor to federal grant programs. An angel investor is the person who helps you finance and start the business. This person has money, is probably a successful business person already. He or she is an angel investor because the angel supports you and helps you. A grant, what is a grant? It's a very important word in English. A grant in Spanish is una beca and it's the money, the government, federal, the government give you money to support your business. That's a federal grant program, okay? You may or might or could even consider asking your family and friends banks are not the only option available consider your own resources so what are your resources circumstances and life state to figure out to discover which way which one works best for you so text six is tricky what are the possible options here for text six the startup lifestyle option d I think in relation to the word to fund means to generate the money. So I think option six connects very well to D. Okay, so let's select this. Text six, I think, is the best option for D. Location, no. Extra expenses, no. Okay, so let's continue. And I think we're doing well. I think we're more or less on the correct line. Let's continue. Text seven and text eight. Text seven. This topic is something you need to calculate with the money. Assess, analyze, inspect, assess. The contingencies, difficult English, but a contingency is a plan B, second plan. What is the plan if you fail? What is the contingency? and prepare for them. For example, restaurant owners are likely, are probable, to need general liability insurance for slip. When the customer slips and falls and has an accident in the restaurant, so that's insurance and that's probably an extra expense. Okay, because calculate. You need to be protected in case one big customer doesn't pay you so this is another risk financially because a customer might not give you the money and that's business have a backup plan have a contingency 
plan a backup support plan if things don't turn out the way you had expected have a support plan if things do not work very well so text seven what do you think is the best option for text seven and i have my list as well to continue um i think this was very clear and i think this was about extra expenses i think g is probably the best text an option for text seven in my opinion okay let's continue to the last option your priorities will differ this is the verb the adjective is different but the verb is to differ so your priorities will differ depending on your needs and your necessities but there are some basic things you definitely need to consider in the case of retail retail means like a shop in the case of retail accessibility accessibility the ability to enter your shop the ability to enter your retail and to leave maybe for people with disabilities maybe for older people maybe for people with a car lots of different questions related to accessibility and competition in the area are important factors when selecting your business space so your location is very important and this text is speaking about location as because you want to attract a large crowd as possible you want to attract the maximum numbers you can so location is very important also think about what kind of premises a premises is another word for a building a building or an office this is your premises your location again okay and that's very very clear text eight i think is directly connected to location and the text here was yeah f have you considered the right location and uh, yes that was text eight so let's check the answers and i'm not sure if the answers are here let me check the end of the page no no answers on this page so i need to find the answers for you and to put the answers on the facebook page for you because i think another document is here and i need to find the answers maybe it's this one no no sorry so i need to find the answers for you um maybe this is it no checking your own business so that's not the correct answers as well no okay sorry so i need to find the correct page for you with the answers and i should have prepared this already but of course today is the first lesson dedicated to this exam and remember this exam is the Escuela Oficial de Idiomas exam in Spain and specifically today it's the Madrid community Comunidad de Madrid I think it's very interesting for me that's a very very interesting um exercise I think the majority of our answers well my answers are correct I think I'm quite confident and that is the first task one okay so let's continue maybe to look at task two and let's read the instructions for task two okay eight questions one mark per question so there's a total of eight marks for this particular task in espanol tarea instruction read the following text and choose the option a b or c which best completes the sentence sentences according to the text then write your answer in the corresponding box okay here we can see a text ordinary text from a book a magazine or an article and we continue to the bottom and we have multiple choice okay multiple choice so we have question zero is c so we've multiple choices very very difficult but 
this type of exam is very similar to other English exa exams, okay? And most English exams, Cambridge, Trinity, IELTS, majority all have reading aspects and questions, like multiple choice questions related to uh, the text. So today we do not start this because it's very heavy. So that's good news. So today we can almost finish just on task one. I will try to find the results for you and post on the Facebook page all the results for the answers. Okay, so hopefully you can check the answers on the Facebook page. Great, so that's everything for today. I think very short. Um, my schedule for this week, this is my schedule and my timetable. So I have three lessons every day in the mornings, mornings, mornings before lunch. So now it's almost lunch time and I have three lessons every day. In the morning, it's grammar at 8.45. Then we continue to a different lesson in the afternoon, okay? And that's very, very good schedule and timetable and I hope you can join any of them that you want. They are all recorded as well, so hopefully you can join. If you want to contact me, you can contact me on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, YouTube, and WhatsApp. So I have all the social media connections and hopefully you can join me on the pages here, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Pinterest, and WhatsApp. Everything is free. Okay, all my lessons are free but I need your support. So I need the support of the students and to help me, you can make a donation with your bank, just make a direct transfer with your bank and ideally every month or possibly with PayPal. It's very easy to connect and to pay on PayPal and it's the information is on my Facebook page. I need your support and hopefully that's a very good way to support me. So that information is on the Facebook page and finally, I think I have one more document and I think it's about advertising. So give me one moment and I'll try to find the last document. No, no. Okay, so there is another document here related to um, advertising. So if you are a company and if you are a business and you want to support me, you can put your company information on the page and I can explain your business and your company as well. So thank you so much, everybody. I hope that you have a good day and um, thank you for watching. Hopefully see you tomorrow again. Finally, if you have any questions, please put your question here and I don't see anything at the moment. So that's perfect. So thank you, everybody. And I'll just finish with the last comment. Thank you, everybody, and have a good day as well. Thank you so much and hopefully talk to you soon. Take care and bye-bye.